Good morning. Welcome to the Bar of Sunday Morning Services. Thank you so much for being with me. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Happy 4th of July to everybody and their mama. All right? We want to get that out of the way. Um, you can get involved by calling 1-800-411-2663, 1-800-411-BOND, or email me, church at bondinfo.org, church at bondinfo.org. And put your name in town, name in town, your emails. I'm laughing because we have a new camera guy today. Not only can he not count, he's standing in the way of the sign. <laughs> uh, 10, 9, 8, 6, no, 7, 6. <laughs> okay. Um, where do I want to go with this? How, how many people here are Christians? Oh, good. Everybody and their mama. How many of you gossip or listen to gossip? All the Christians. <laughs> you gossip or listen to gossip? Isn't gossip? Isn't that amazing? Um, uh, see, my purpose is to wake you up, you know, get you to start seeing yourself, examining thyself, and knowing thyself. All right? So, that's why I'm asking these questions, because I don't think a lot of people think about why they do certain things and what we should or should not be doing as children of God. All right. So let me just ask, uh, did you raise your hand? Oh, uh, let's go with the mic there, Rob. Um, why do you gossip? Well, gossip, the definition of gossip is something untrue or true. Period. Even if it is true. Even if it is true? Yeah. Why do you gossip? Well, I would say I, I, I'm not a real big problem of gossip, but I would You're say... You're just a little bit of gossiper. <laughs> I'm actually a bad example of gossip because I don't even really not into that at all. But I, I would say when my conscience feels like it's gossiping would be... Whether it's right, whether it's true or not true, it's just saying something behind their back rather than saying it to their face. And so, why do you do that at times? Why I do that? Cause no, why do you do I that? I don't want to go through the trouble of telling them to their face, and I don't want them. <laughs> and, I, and I want them to stop doing it, so I go around and tell everyone else. <laughs> and how is that going to stop them from doing it? Um, uh, doesn't sunlight disinfect? <clears throat> so what? Sunlight disinfects. What? Sunlight disinfects. But where's the light in gossiping? Well, when everybody addresses the issue, it'll be um, something that they have to address also. Really? And do you listen to gossip as well? I don't have that many friends, but yeah, I would say yeah. And why but, do you do that? Um, it's just funny. <laughs> but I don't. I don't sit and listen to it. Like I don't sit there forever and ever and ever. But I might just get the point. And then you just I'm, sit there until they tell you all the main points about the person. Possibly, possibly <laughs> not. Not all the time. Not all the time. I don't but think it's that. that sometimes that fun. It's not right. that fun. And why do you listen to it? I actually try not to, but I mean, I catch myself um, being interested in like what. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then I just be like, yeah, whatever. It's always trash, anyway. So, yeah. So, so you're just like, so I get my, I don't, I'm not gonna sit there for that long. But you sit there long enough to get the points. Sometimes I catch myself, like you know, like a movie. You're watching a movie that's trashy, and then you know, there's something about it that you like. Yeah. And you're like, you know, so you you, and then you figure it out, and you're like, oh, this is trash. I'm out of here. Yeah. Okay. And so you listen just because, so you can get the main points of the trash. Pretty much, because I think it's I like it at first, and then I feel, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, this is not, this is just not right. And, so, and why do you like it at first? Uh, the movie or the the, the gossip. gossip. Um, maybe I might be bored. I might be might not like that person. I might <laughs> uh, be interested w in the topic. Would you want someone to gossip about you? Oh, uh, I'm sure they do. I'm sure. No, I said, would you sure. want that? I can't help that. No, would you want that? Would I want that? No, would you want that? 
<laughs> yeah, I understand. It, it's not an ideal world. And I don't think that's an option. So I, I think that people are going to talk their trash, and they're going to tra- talk tra- trash talk not to your face. Yeah, so, but would you want that? Cares? Would I want that? No, no, of course not. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to ask me, what's the question? Yeah. I was interviewing this guy on the radio, and he was like, didn't want to answer the question, honestly. And I was like, on him, on him. He's like, what's the question? <laughs> it's a simple question. Okay. Right. How about you say you gossip as well? Right. Yeah. Yes. And you're, both of you are Christians, right? Yes. Okay. And you gossip. Why? I try not to gossip, but I find that when I talk to certain people, that's all I hear is gossip from them. And it's almost like I, when I try not to, then we have nothing to talk about. So then I, <laughs> I said, well, be nice and I'll listen. Right. And then that's, I know that's bad because the more I listen, some, I get caught up and I say, I even start asking questions like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. And so you try not to, but you, there's a part of you that can't help it. There's a part of me, like if I, like my family is not Christian. So when I go to my family's house, I can't help but listen to the gossip. Uh, do and you, and you don't correct them? I try to, yes, but then I also find that sometimes if they're not gossiping, we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> That's a very good point. Um, um, do you, uh, do you go- so you gossip about others and you listen to gossip about others. And would you like someone to treat you that way? No. You don't. Um, so you, but you can't help it. And you wouldn't have anything to talk about if you didn't gossip. With certain people. Yeah. I think I listen to gossip more than I gossip. Do you, tr- do you trust people who gossip about others? No. I, yeah. Those are the people that I usually, they're more of acquaintances. They're not people that I would particularly talk right. to myself. Personally. And can you, can people trust you if you're gossiping? Are you to be trusted? Well, when someone tells me something, and, and personally, I don't gossip about that. You just, I don't understand. You just gossip about other people's stuff, but not... No, usually the stuff that, it's when something is funny. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff. If someone were to tell me something, like, that was personal, i 95% sure I wouldn't gossip about it. But you are here, you listen to it, can you be trusted? I don't know. You don't know? Your husband said no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't know if you can be trusted? Would you trust a person who listened to gossip about you? Probably not, no. Yeah. And so should they trust you if you're listening to it? No. Yeah. How about if you went and told, if, let's say someone came to you and said something about someone else. You say, all right, if you tell me, I'm going to let these people know you said this. Would that help? They would hang up. They would hang up? <laughs> yes, sir. Hold on. Hold, wait for the mic. Do you gossip? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, but I hate that. <laughs> uh, I you was, hate it? Yeah. But why do you do it? It's unfair, huh? Why do you do it? It's oh. unfair, right. So why do you do it? I, I do it. I'm aware most of the time, so I keep my mouth shut. I don't do it. But there's two reasons that people do it. No, why do you do it, not why? people? Yeah. Because uh, something you that you hold against that person is a way to harm him. It's a way to harm them? Yeah. By uh, talking about them? Uh, yeah, and I think there's two reasons people gossip. Not people, you. Huh? Not people. Me? Two reasons I gossip is what? Yeah. Huh? It's a way to... <laughs> it's because some, somebody's done wrong to you. Yeah. And it's a way of you thinking... Like getting back at them, harm them, which is an unfair way. Yeah. So you're trying to get back at someone. Will you listen to it and will you do it? Will I do what? Will you gossip? You're trying to get back at the person. The, the, the time I gossip is a way to get him back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, do you, could you be trusted since you do gossip about others? Could you be trusted? Uh... No. You can't be trusted? Uh, I can because, because I, I mean, <laughs> I've caught myself gossiping, but it's like a, one of the worst things I can do, so I always remember not to do it, you know? But, so can you be trusted? I don't know. 
I can't hear you. If I could be trusted? No, could you be trusted? I guess not. <laughs> Would you trust someone who you found out was gossiping about you? No. So can, if they found out that you were doing it to them, could, could they trust you? No. Oh, okay. So you can't be trusted? No. <laughs> it's, I mean, you made me say it. <laughs> it's listen so, to it. <laughs> so what? <laughs> what did you say? It leads, to it, me, it leads to it for me to say no. Cause, yeah, if, what, it look what? If a person gossips, you can't trust them. And if I gossip, then you can't trust me either. Is it hard to admit that? Yeah. It's hard to admit you yeah. can't be trusted. It's, it's ugly thing. Gossip is ugly, and it's hard to admit ugliness. Yeah. Were you aware before now that you could not be trusted because you, you, you gossip and you listen to it? No, I wasn't. You're not aware. So what does it feel to face it right now? Uh, it's ugly. It's, yeah. Yeah. See how ugly you are on the inside? That's why a guy said, don't trust man. Man heart is, and woman heart is, is uh, a wicked. It's wicked. That's a wicked heart. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. So you have a wicked heart. I can't hear you. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yes. Go to, yes. Oh, yeah, I was just thinking about what I said. And in the Bible, it does say that if, you, if you've gone and talked to a person first, and they still don't repent from whatever they're doing wrong, then you're supposed to go and tell everybody about what. <laughs> that's what it says in the Bible. No, it doesn't. Where, where it says, no, it first says bring like two or three people with you. What? It, it doesn't say, say go and tell everybody. Say what I'm saying. All right. So in the Bible it says that you bring in, you bring in like, you bring in like uh, two or three other friends and then you talk to them so there's a there's a certain process you go in and you speak to them by yourself right then you bring two or three people in then if not at least then one you person throw them out of the church and you lot and you, and you you throw them out of the church to, for satan to have them that's what the bible says well what it says is that you, you go to that person yeah and then if you can't work it out take a witness with you right and then if it doesn't work out let the dust hit your feet forget about it right. let it go it doesn't take it doesn't say throw them out to the church. And well, won't everybody know by that time? Not if you don't tell anyone else. All right. That's true. <laughs> Isn't that something? Um, ladies over here. Let's go. Marie. Let's go to Marie. Do you gossip? Yes. You do. And why? I don't know. Speak into the mic for me. It probably makes me feel good. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, superior or something. It yeah. makes you feel superior. Uh -huh. Yeah, knowing that somebody else is so bad and you can share it, it makes you feel right. Pardon me? Knowing that someone else talking down about somebody else makes you feel holy. Not holy, but superior. Superior. Mm -hmm. And would you like for someone to do that to you? No. No? Why not? Because it would hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give an excuse, okay? I uh, live in a condominium and all is gossip. I mean, that is not. <laughs> as she was saying, if you don't gossip, it's like there is nothing to talk about. Right. What do you talk about if you don't gossip? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know on God. A day, on a daily basis. Uh, yeah. God should have thought of that before he passed out that rule. Now, if I ask these people not to gossip, what are they going to talk about? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm going to have to talk to him about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you don't like for it to be done to you because it will hurt, but yeah. you can do it to others. Right, but I'm very well aware of it. When I do it and I go home, I go, oh, my God, I did it again and again. So... <laughs> I'm conscious of it. I've so, so you listen to it and you do it. Other people. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. And, and do you trust the people who are gossiping to you no. about someone no. else? No. Can you be trusted? To a tiny, tiny extent, yes. And what because, extent is that? Because I don't know why, but people always come to me and tell me all kinds of confidential stuff. Because they know that you are like the LA Times, you're going to put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want this information to get out. Who can I tell? <laughs> oh, Maria. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I gossip when the other person starts gossiping. I usually don't initiate the 
You don't initiate it. No, usually. But again, I'm very confidential. If someone tells me so, well, but you're not. I, no, I'm contradicting myself. Yeah, you are. Okay. All right. Gossiping. Oh. <laughs> you um, is that so? You can you be trusted? Again, to a certain extent. Well, what kind of extent, though? If you, let's say that you knew something about me, and then you, uh, you trust me. I mean, you can hold it for a while, but as soon as you get mad, then it's out. Not quite. <laughs> because have, that little I extent have, and I gone. Have kept, I have kept a lot of very confidential things about people. A like what? A lot of it. Like what, for example? <laughs> uh, now, now, now he's making noise. Uh, but okay, as a Christian person, do you feel you feel guilty about it, right? Yes. Oh, I. Uh, oh my God! Again, I did it again. But not enough to stop doing it. Right. Oh, because okay. again, you feel awkward if you don't. <laughs> If you don't participate, you feel miserable. You know, just like. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with not having things to talk about at times? What's wrong with that? That's true. Again, I just feel miserable when I'm empty and uh, you feel like nothing, like. Right. So you got to have feed the ego something. Right. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. I this don't like the feeling of feeling uh, like, who am I? And it's just, I'm just a little nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. One of the reasons people do it because when you when you're with someone and you don't have anything to talk about, you feel like nothing. Yeah. You feel you become aware of yourself and you see that you're nothing. So you just start making up stuff. <laughs> Remember last year? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what the conflict is. Yeah. Because you can be around a quiet person mm -hmm. that don't really talk too much. And if you're a talker, they can make you feel guilty almost, make you feel, they sit there looking silly and not even talking. You're like, why are we together if you're not going to talk? Women got that bad about trying to make people talk. And like, if, if they have a quiet husband, they'll beat him to death if he doesn't talk. You never say anything, you know, because they can't handle that alone time. They are the quietness. That real reality. Yeah. Uh, In reality, that's it. Yeah, let's go here. I saw his hand. Yes, sir. I just uh, recognize that gossip sometimes creates a sense of community with other people that you don't necessarily, aren't necessarily that tight with. Yeah, I think that's what Maria is talking about. Yeah. You live around all these people, and it's like a community together. So yeah. and since they are not saved, they got to gossip. Yeah, and it, 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 it does create a <laughs> false sense of... Friendship, I yeah. Guess. Or you want to have a good time, you want a good laugh. Yeah. And you can all laugh together. But if you pull that away, there would be not, not, nothing necessarily holding you together. Isn't that amazing? Do you gossip? Uh, I have, yeah. Do you gossip? Yes. <laughs> I have. Um, and, and why? To feel superior to other people. Really? Yeah. And so are you aware that you're feeling that way while you're doing it? You're like, yeah, wow, I'm, I'm great. Like, uh, as this young man started to say, it's, it's out of my sins. It doesn't seem to be one of my greatest because I'm pretty good at being confidential about stuff. Right. But I do notice sometimes falling into that, and that's that's why. Cause I was thinking about why would I do it or whatever and get part of it. But it's like, you know, this person here is so low. So, you know, they're so messed up or they had such an embarrassing situation or whatever. that just, you know, I feel better in, in comparison to that person. It's like, <laughs> you know. So you got to tell somebody. Well, I don't necessarily initiate it, but if there's people talking about some other person and they're... And you're like, yeah, child. Yeah. You know. I heard that. Do you... Can you be trusted? Not 100%, no. No. You listen to gossip as well? Again, normally I'm not into it too much, but sometimes I do find myself yeah, into it, yeah. Oh, okay. Amazing. This is amazing stuff. All the Christian gossip um, let me go to this young lady first. Way over the corner by herself. You know she's gossiping. Her computer going right now. <laughs> I'm betting it on these people. I'm going to sit over here. No. 
I'm just joking. Uh, you gossip? Yes. A and why? Um, I was just thinking about what you said about being, uh, feeling superior. It might be deep down underneath, but I don't feel that while I'm listening or right. talking. To me, it's just funny, you know. Other people gossiping about other people is funny to you. Because, <laughs> well, usually when somebody gossips, well, the things I've heard is usually funny. Uh, it's not. It's nothing really. If someone were doing it to you, would you think it's funny? Um, probably not. No. You, why not? Well, because it's me. I can't. Because <laughs> it's me. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you be trusted? No. I'm sorry. No. Did you know that before today that you couldn't be trusted? No, but we talked about this before. In the women's meeting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And it was hard for me to say no. That you can't be trusted? Yeah. So what does it feel like? Because I still no have a lot of secrets that I kept. So that's why it's still hard for me to say no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like knowing you can't be trusted? Like, wow, I'm a person that cannot be trusted. It, pro it probably haven't sunk in all the way. Oh. I'm still processing it. But I've... But since the meeting, I've gotten better. I've, I've been catching myself. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, even though sometimes I still do it, um, like how she said that I feel it now. At first, I didn't feel anything when I did it. Yeah. But um, I've been catching myself, and sometimes I just walk away, and people is like looking at me like, <laughs> she just walked away, like, what happened? Yeah. But um, so... Why didn't you, when you realize what, see, this is why I bring it to your attention, because I want you to become conscious of what you're doing. Most people are unaware of what they're doing. They don't really realize, but once you are aware of what you're doing, it's hard to do it. You can't do it. It's the unconscious state that allows you to do this stuff, because that's why Christ said, forgive them, they know not what they do. Most people don't really see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But once I tell you, okay, don't gossip. Now you have to watch yourself a little more, and it's harder to do it. Isn't that, isn't that true? Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you gossiped since I last said don't do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I said I caught Oh, yeah, but you're aware of it. Okay. Like, it, I, I seen it, and then I'm like, uh oh, I'm doing it again, or something like that. Or, oh, okay. And then sometimes it don't always seem like gossip. It's very... Like it comes sometimes gossip comes like innocently. No innocent gossip. It really, it sneaks up <laughs> on you all of a sudden. It somebody, sneaks up on you. Somebody's talking and you're like, uh oh. Yeah. It, it happens that fast. It's so easily to, like easy to get trapped up oh, okay. in it. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. But that's gonna change after today. It will after today it will not be easy to get caught up in that. And it's gonna bless your socks off not to be that way. I, but I have a question about, let's say, I always have to ask you about gossip. Let's say you have one person you discuss everything with. Right. And it might be sometimes gossip, but usually it's not. It's really just to get things off your chest. And it's maybe, in my case, it's an older person. Right. So I like to tell her things. And so sometimes, she, and she gives me advice and you like to tell her things about other people. It's not, I don't really tell, tell her their business. Because when I tell her something, it's not like I'm telling all their business. I'm just saying what happened between us. So you like to tell her things about other people, but it's not their business. It's just things about them. Well, like if, let's say a situation happened between me and the person. Yeah. And it does I'm not going to lie, it does start off as gossip, but I really ask her, like, what you think I should do? Like, you know, should I do this or should I do that? But it does kind of, it, it, it is still gossip. And so you want to know what to do in that case? Yeah, because... Because you're still between gossiping. Between me and her, it seems so innocent because I really don't talk about it to nobody else. Right. Just her? Yeah. Okay. And you want to know should you do that? Yeah. Okay, let me ask some of the holy Christians. Did you hear the question? So she has this one female friend. Is it a female? Yeah. That she goes to and talk to her about other people so she can find out in her mind what to do about the situation. 
but it's still goss gossiping. Should she do that? No. She I should don't think not. So. And why not? Okay, can you please explain everything again? I'm sorry. <laughs> she has this one lady that she's a friend to. Okay. With. And she goes to her and tell her all this stuff. Uh -huh. and, and you said not necessarily to be gossiping, yeah. even though it is gossiping, should she do that? Well, if she trusts her friend and if it, I mean, if, if, if she trusts that person, um, I guess, yes, just so she could get the other person's input. Oh, okay. So you say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, do you gossip? Um, yeah, I do. And why do you do it? To carry a conversation. To care about somebody else? Well, I mean, um... <laughs> I guess to have something to talk about. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like what these ladies were saying and this young man. If you didn't gossip, there's nothing to talk about. Well, yeah, there is. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to talk about because. Well, you so can, why not talk about those things instead of gossiping? Um, because usually, if I get caught up in a, in, in in that kind of conversation, it's because, uh, you know, they ask me a question regarding that. But it's, I think everybody gossip. Well, no, we're talking about you right now. Well, I, yeah, I do. Uh, I, it, and so you listen to it and you do it. Yes. And you're a Christian. Catholic. Oh, Catholics are not Christians? I don't yes, know much are. about Catholics. Yes. You are? Oh, okay. Yes. Look like you're trying to escape by saying, well, I'm a Catholic, so no. I'm not a Christian. No. Okay. Um, could you be trusted? Yes. You can? Yes. Well, would you trust someone who gossip about you? Um, would I trust them? No, would you trust them? Mm, no. So then why do you think they can trust you? But if you're doing the same thing, it's not always something that they're talking bad about that person. Oh, it's not. Uh, no. Give me a good gossip. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> gossip. Could, I mean, you, it's they could come in and talk about like um. Um. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, just things that, you know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is food for thought, right? Is it? Yeah. Um, let me ask the man, get a guy in front of you the mic. So what would your advice be for her? She want to know, is that gossip or should she do it? A one-on-one. -on -one. If you really want to know what to do, you do go to someone who you know won't spread it around. If you've already gone to that person yourself, because the best experience is to go to that person yourself, then if, you, if you've done that and they didn't, they didn't come around to what you think, you know, make amends with you or whatever, then you're supposed to go to another person, a trustworthy person, yeah. who won't spread it all around, and then seek that, seek that advice. Yeah. But, you can also seek advice, just, just supposedly seek advice just to gossip and, you know, to get it off your chest. Oh, so. he's right in that if you have a problem with someone, you don't go to your friend first about that person. You go to that person first. The only reason you're sharing it with your friend in reality is because you want to gossip about the person. You have no love and you want to gossip first about the person, get that superior feeling. And that's why you go into your friend. There's no way in the Bible where God says, if you have a friend with John Doe, go to Mary Lou. He said, go to that person first. Not some best friend, not your mama, not your daddy. Go to that person. Then if it's an issue that is not worked out, you take your friend. If you trust this friend and know that they're fair, you take the friend, and if it doesn't work out, let it go. But, but uh, you're going to the friend because of that feeling you get about it. So don't let Satan deceive you about that. That makes sense? Take the mic then. Um, 
Sort of. Not all the way? I'm thinking about it. Because think about what good is it doing the person that you're disagreeing with to go to somebody else? If the person don't know you're feeling this way, or blah, blah, blah. You're not helping them or yourself. So what good is it doing to go to somebody else first that you don't have the issue with? Well, wonder if, you, if you're asking them for advice, like really how to deal with it, should I? But God have already told us how to do it. Okay. The advice is if you have a problem with a person, go to that person. That's the advice. Okay. Because the moment you take it to a second person, I mean, the moment you take it to someone else first, it's going to turn total evil. And then they go into a third person and a fourth person and so on and so on and so on. What, with this person, it, it's not like that. No, I guarantee you it is like that. If he's listening to you and not telling you, you shouldn't be telling me this, you should go to that person, then she can't be trusted. She's talking about you behind your back and about other people too. I guarantee you that. Because if he was not, she would say, don't come to me with this. Or let's say you went to her with it. She would say, did you go and tell her? And you would say, no. She would say, well, go tell her. Don't tell me about it. If you do, I'm going to tell her you told me. And that will she, repudiate you. She said that. Well, she never said I'm going to, going to tell a person. Right. But yeah, she said that. I'm telling you, I don't care if it's your daddy, <laughs> your mama, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your enemy. If a person listens to gossip and don't repudiate you, they're telling somebody else about you. They cannot be trusted. Because Satan is not going to let them relax with that information. Satan will tell them, oh, tell somebody else for this reason. He'll make it seem logical that you should tell somebody else. And you'll find yourself telling it. Because your unconscious don't see what's going on. That's why God said, don't play the game. You can't play the game with evil. And evil will deceive you to make you think what you're doing is right. Oh, tell one other person. This is your best friend. It won't hurt. A person that listens to you gossip is not your best friend if they don't repudiate you. Because a best friend should want what's best for you. They should want you to be an honest, uh, fair, righteous kind of a person. And that's what repudiation is about. Uh-huh. No, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, speaking to the mic. No, I was just still thinking about, yeah. you know, everything. Well, I guarantee you, if this person, your friend, has not corrected you in what you're doing and refused to listen to it, if you're refusing to go to the other person, that person is not a real friend. They're a friend like at Marie, where Marie lives. Everybody kind of the same. No, I don't. While I pretending don't to be so. different. <laughs> but she should have repudiated you then. Anyway, we'll come back to you. Okay. Think about it. Food for thought. Listen, if you don't understand, don't accept it. Keep on gossiping and see what happens to you. That's all you got to do. You got to live it if you can't believe it. You know what I mean? Uh, let me just take this young lady. Did I come here? Uh, Maria in the back. She had a hand. Do you have your hand, Maria? You, you forgot? Oh, oh, that is a nun who lives in my building. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay, he's gossiping. <laughs> Let's get some water. So, anytime I talk to her, I start by saying, I don't mean to gossip, but. Yeah. <laughs> That's gossiping. But of course, she yeah. doesn't correct me. Right. She never corrected me. And so, but also, I don't gossip about what people do to me. I gossip about what other people are doing wrong, which it's still is gossip. bad anyway. Yeah. I, I, I realize yeah. that. It's still gossiping. Still gossiping. Yeah. And also, I think what happens, I gossip because I don't forgive. Is that what it is? You know what? Forgive. Forgive? Yeah. Yes. If you, were, if if you lived off forgiveness, gossiping could not happen. So even if it is not done to me... I don't forgive the wrongs of other people doing to right. me. Right. Oh, good. Okay. You either have love or you don't have it. And 99.999.999, .999, not all, not all, not all. Just 99.9, .999% of people mm -hmm. don't have love. That's why this stuff is going on. It's going on in the churches. 
It's going on with the Christians. It's going on with the, the Jews. It's going on with the whomever. And it's bad. I, over the last 22 years, I've counseled with people. The devastation that has come from gossiping is overwhelming. And also, when I know all these confidential things about people, yeah. it comes on and on, over and over. How, how do I dissolve that? As she was saying, she goes to her friend only because she wants to let it out, okay? But That's her she, excuse. Yeah, but if she could kind of dissolve it within herself, she didn't have to go to that. See, that's why God don't want you to listen to all this stuff, because when people tell you all this stuff, about Satan plays on your mind with that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have love, if you don't have the light shining in you, you will cave in. Yeah. Because Satan set it up to make it look... Oh, you can't handle all this by yourself. Tell somebody. He would make you tell someone. Yeah, because the devil keeps telling you, you have to let it, you have to. Yeah, do, let it out. Like, let it out, and, and it comes back, and, and things that happened five years ago, you have to. Yes. So, you know, uh, how, how do I do that? How can I See, get if you had that? love, mm -hmm. first of all, you wouldn't listen to it, unless you were like a counselor or something, uh, and it's your gift that God has given unto you. Because when I counsel with people, it goes in one ear and out the other. And then they come back again and tell me something. And they say, well, I already told you that. But I don't remember it because okay. I know I can't. I don't want my spirit to mess up. And I don't want that stuff in my head. So I let it go in one ear and out the other. Oh. I give my best advice. And I'm done with it. Thank you. And they repeat it when they come back for counseling. Right here, Rob. And then and, and come here, John. Yes, ma'am. I just had a question regarding... I've come across, uh, you know, I'm a Christian, so I, I like I have a Christian friend, and I've noticed that when I talk to this specific person, it it seems like I find myself listening to gossip. Yeah. But because they're Christian, it's almost deceiving in a way because it doesn't come out as gossip; it comes out as, you know, these are the things that are going on with all of our mutual friends, and then yeah. at the end it'll be pray for them. <laughs> so sometimes I find that that confuses me That's a, a little point. bit because yeah. when I get off the phone, I, I have this feeling like we're mutual friends, but if they wanted me to know this, wouldn't they call me themselves? And I, then I find it more confusing because it seems that if we, if I'm not hearing all of this stuff, then I really don't have much to talk about with this person. That's right. Yeah. But see... God is letting you see that because he's trying to, he loves you and he's watching out for you. So you see that this is wrong. What you got to start doing is dealing with people when they do that. And he's like, oh, Sally Sue jumped, went out with John Doe last night and blah, blah, blah. Pray for her. And you say, no, that's wrong. You need to not tell me this stuff or you need to go and talk to Sally about it. And then you, your light would get brighter and brighter and brighter. And then when you're with someone and there's nothing to talk about, you still have your joy. Because the light is turned on. Your peace within is turned on. But if you talk about people, you have all this evil in your heart, you're going to feel uncomfortable not having a conversation with someone because you don't have the love operating through you. Here's another scenario. What if you're talking to someone that's your relative, and so they're gossiping about other relatives, but again... Same thing. Because they get a little bit rebellious and saying, well, if you're a Christian, you're supposed to pray for all of these people. So I have to be able to tell you what to pray about <laughs> all these people. Just say, get behind me, Satan. That's deception. Don't fall for that. Yeah. What? Yes, she can. You can't tell that to your mother. That's your mother. No, uh, I was just saying. Uh, his mother. Oh, his mother. No, I was talking <laughs> about her mother, but... Uh, Ooh. <laughs> We're going to do the, play the dozen up in here. Um, I don't care if it's your mother, your daddy, your brother. The principle applies to everybody. In my family, this is the absolute truth. When my kids come to me with something about somebody else or about somebody in the family, I say, okay, if you tell me this, I'm going to let them know you told me, so you better go and tell them. And now they won't tell me anything. Because they'll say, I know you're going to tell me with this, or they, they, they don't like for me to do that, but I'm looking out for their soul because I love them. And I know that if they come to me to gossip about somebody else and don't go to that person, they can't be trusted. My own kids can't be trusted if I allow that to happen. 
That is evil, is not of God. And what I don't understand about Christians, how can, because that's what we expect from non-Christians, right? Isn't that true? We expect uh, the secular society, Satan's children, to do that kind of thing. And so, and when we were like that, we were not born again of God. That's how we were, and we wanted to get away from that. But if we're doing the same thing as Christians, where, what's the difference? I don't understand what's the difference. Why be a Christian if ain't nothing going to change? How, and I'm going to read this to you in a minute, and then I'll ask that question. Yes. Okay, I just want to clear the re uh, record to say that uh, I never gossip for the simple reason I can't see the logic behind, uh, behind it. Talking, uh, I never did understand why people would talk behind, uh, behind people's ba uh, back about something. Do you listen to it? I don't even, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what go uh, gossip would be like. I, t I, r I, d I don't even. Do you have friends? Huh? Huh? That's, that's, that's it. I've been ra raised in Thailand to trust absolutely nobody, not, uh, nobody but myself. Oh, well, you don't want to live like that. <clears throat> there was no, uh, nobody taught me any other way to live. Oh, I see. Yes, but I, uh, I can see one, uh, understand one thing. Um, <clears throat> a few uh, in, uh, in our um, Sunday school class earlier today, Martin, uh, Martin put an interesting fact that we hardly spend less than five or ten minutes on the si on silence. If we spend a little bit more, at least. There'll be a less of a desire to gossip against our neighbors yeah. as if we talk, if we uh, as we talk more to our own creator about our problems. Absolutely, that's a good point, and, and several people made it already. If you don't gossip, there's nothing to talk about. But those quiet moments are your most important moments, because then you can hear from God. When you shut up, that's why God said, "Be slow to speak, and 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 quick to hear." But most people, you know. They got always got stuff going on, and it's about nothing. And then if you talk to those very same people about themselves, if you got with them and say, you know what, you need to, why are you doing this? You need to let your anger go. They get mad at you because they don't want real talk. They don't want true talk that's going to help them. They want lies. They want talk about others so they can feel good about themselves. But if we're children of God, we have to be different so we can point, you know, point them in the right way to go. Did you have a question, Pat? Oh, come in. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about uh, something I did the other day that would it was gossip, especially looking at it today. It was a family member involved, and they did something that looked out of order to me. I didn't say it at the time. We were in the middle of kind of a celebratory type of situation. I didn't really say it at the time, and I didn't really seek them out after. And I realize now because I didn't seek them out because – that person hadn't seen me for a while. They're glad to see me. <laughs> and I got kind of soaked up into the I'm wonderful. They haven't seen me for a while. And then the idea of me going back and correcting them after that would just take, pull up the rug out from under that whole yeah. idea. And it just occurred to me now because I ended up talking to another family member about something they did. And another family member talked to me about something. Wow, what a mess. And none of us... And it, it, was, it was a lack of courage. And yeah. none of us had the courage to simply go to the person. And actually, I, I found that out because I talked to each person. And, and I found out for whatever reason, they had something put into their mind of the reason why they didn't go yeah. deal with the person. Yeah. But it was all the same thing. And, and it was a lack of courage. So it's interesting. Isn't the, it like amazing? The topic is actually more app applicable because I wanted to say the same thing uh, that the young man was saying earlier. This doesn't really apply to me. Go on to the <laughs> next subject. You know, let's let the woman take the shot on this because we know women gossip a lot. But it's like, oh, man, I don't <laughs> gossip. But I actually do gossip. Yeah. I mean, and there's different ways to do it that you're not really thinking of it as gossip. That's right. You know? And you make a good point in that Satan will put something in your mind that causes you or prevent you from going to the person. Oh, they may get mad. You may hurt their feelings. Uh, whatever you tell you. And you believe that lie, and the message goes around and around and around. And now can you kind of see why the churches are failing? This is why the churches are failing. Oh, I'll pray for you. I don't want no gossiping person to pray for me. I, I have people call me on my radio show. You know, Uncle Tom, I hate you, but I'm going to pray for you. I'm like, no, don't pray for me. We don't have the same father. 
Do you gossip? Um, yeah, I do. You do? And why? Well, is gossip necessarily always bad or can it be just... <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't, I don't talk bad about people. Um, the people that I'm around, we don't really gossip. We don't really have a lot of bad things to say about each other, friends or family. It's how are you doing? How's your daughter? But just about other people. Not, I don't... You don't talk about your circle. Not the one person I may talk about, um, so I, I can say I do gossip is my roommate. Yeah. Because maybe I, there's a lot of things I wouldn't want to say to her. I'm not necessarily talking bad about her, but just kind of venting of how I feel. But I've also vented it to her as well. But it does help me talking to a certain person. And yeah. I don't see nothing wrong with getting advice from somebody if why you can not, trust them. Why not talk to your roommate about it and, no, then, I have. and then drop it? Be done with it. Maybe because it's still happening, and I'm like, okay, well, she's grown. I don't want to talk to her about it again. So and I so the people her, that you go out and talk to... It's not a, people. It could a be person a person. that you go out and talk to about yeah. her. Does that cause your roommate to stop what she's doing? No, but it helps me vent. It, but you don't want to but, vent. You want yeah, to forgive. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's gossip, yeah, but I is. have talked to her. But yeah. other than that, I don't really talk bad about a lot of people. Would you want your roommate to do that to you? Um, I'm pretty sure she does. She's probably like, oh, she's so anal. She wants this cleaned, but it doesn't bother me. I feel Would like you want her to do that, though? It doesn't bother me. So you okay with her gossiping about you? Yeah, I think a lot of people do it, and as long as it doesn't bother me if she says anything about me, because I know how I am and what my intentions are. You know so how what? It, it wouldn't bother me. Oh, okay. Do you, uh, can, do you trust your roommate? No, not 100%. Do you trust this person that you gossip to about her? Um, I can say I trust her. I mean, I don't trust anyone 100%. I don't think you really can. Why not? Just because I just don't believe that you can trust somebody 100%. Can Sometimes you, Can you, you be trusted? Um, not 100%. Why not? I just don't think anybody can. So why can't I trust you 100%? What's wrong with you? I can't trust you. Some, because everybody makes mistakes. No, let's just talk about you. Okay, What's wrong? so I can make mistakes. Somebody can, a lot of what people. What kind of mistake would you make that I, that Somebody would... can trust me and not say, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> can't think of anything right now, but I don't want to say that I can't be 100% trusted because maybe something may happen where I don't mean harm by it, right. but it's something that somebody else can be like, I trusted you, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it this way. So that's why I say I don't think anyone can really be 100% But that's a trusted. little different story. Let's say you did something that you were, you, it wasn't gossiping, uh -huh. you didn't mean it to harm by it, but it was taken wrong. You just say, you know what, I didn't mean to harm by that. It's so not, that's, that's, that's a little different story. I can't story. be trusted because it could, to somebody else, right. they might look at it like I did something bad when I didn't. So you think there's some good in gossiping at times? Well, I don't think gossip is always, is always bad. You can sit there and have a conversation but not talk bad about somebody. I think, I don't know, if gossip, that's what I'm saying. Can gossip just be talking good about somebody? Oh, did you hear this person got a house? Is that gossiping because you're talking about somebody else but you're not saying anything bad? Well, that's not, you're saying, well, you know what? Sally Sue bought a house today. That's pretty cool. And you move on with that. It's not yeah, so that saying, don't, don't even really, hold your attention that long. Yes, yeah, so I don't. But really if you say Status Sue lost her house, you can gossip about that all day. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. She really didn't gossip. pay her bills. She was. I told her to stop buying drugs. She. She was spending her money on that old man. You know, if she loses the house, but if she bought the house, you say, oh, she bought a nice three-bedroom home, really nice neighborhood. That's real cool. And then you're done with it. Yeah, so I you see the difference? Yeah. People don't, if you notice, people don't really say good things about other people. Rarely do they say it. I think people The do. only time... I think it's who you surround yourself with. If you're around people that just talk negative about people, then that's what you're going to do. It's bad, if you're yeah. around positive people, then that's... But I'm you don't want them to be positive people. just for the sake of being positive. No, that's You who want them are. to be right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Do you gossip? Yeah, I gossip. You gossip? Yeah. What are you doing gossiping? What made you um, do it? Huh? What made you do it? Um, well, like everyone's saying, it's just it's a lot easier to have a conversation about something. You know, if you're not gossiping about it, then... And nothing to talk about. At times, you know, pretty can, much. Can you be trusted? 
Uh, I would say to an extent, like if someone can, if someone comes up to me and tells me something, and they say, you know what, if I know it's really personal and if I know it's gonna hurt if I let it out, then I won't let it out. But if I know if it's something you know someone said or something that's not a big deal, uh -huh. then if do you ever say to that person, go and tell them, or I will? Um, go and tell them, or I will. Yeah. No, because it's it's not it's not my. I mean. If, first of all, if it's, if it's none of my business and they're talking to me about it or, or, or something. So if it's not your business, why well, listen to it? Because they're talking to me about it and it could be like a friend or something. But it's not your business, though. If you, if no, you don't so love this friend enough to correct the friend by saying, if you don't go to this person, I will, uh, why not? Don't even bother listening to it because you don't love your friend enough to get them to do the right thing. Because I guarantee you, if your friend is doing this, talking to you about someone else like that, they are talk and will talk about you to somebody else. It doesn't, what you don't understand about evil, it doesn't stop with one person. <clears throat> I guarantee you that. Yeah, but I feel like sometimes people need someone to talk to. You know, right, let's, just say if, let's just say if, um, if something happens, you know, and then he wants to come in, instead of reacting upon it, let's just say, and he yeah. wants to come and talk to me about it, like, hey, you know what, this and this happened, what, you know, talk to me, like, for advice about it, yeah. and then I tell him, hey, you know what, I think this, I think that, and then he goes back and he handles the situation differently. Instead well, what of you, no, what you do is say, you know what, uh, you go deal with that person and forgive them, and you'll be done with it. If it was that easy, then I think this world wouldn't be the way, what it is now. It if wouldn't it was be that, that easy, way. If it was that easy. I'm That's sorry. right. But it's not this, that easy, so. It's only not that easy because our parents haven't shown us how to be that way, and because the church is not talking about it. But the road that we're taking right now is leading to destruction because we're not doing it that way. This is why family members are all messed up, all these little dirty secrets and backbiting and talking, being kept in the dark. And in the dark, Satan is destroying. But you're right. If it was done in the light, the world would be a better place. You're absolutely right. And that's why Satan doesn't want us to bring this to the light. You made a good point. Everybody see that? All right. That's why this stuff is happening, because it's done in the dark. Do you guys some looks so innocent, all white? <laughs> I do. You do? I do. You but do. The interesting thing is that I just realized that I only, I can gossip about certain people only. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel better now. So you go down your list, uh, list of non-gossiper and list of who I can gossip about. And so when you're ready to gossip, you go to this list. Let me see is his name on that list. Um, no, it's not, it's not like that. It's, it's when I have a problem with someone that I did not confront, then I have something to gossip about. Yeah, that'll do it. That, that's when I do it. That's why we should confront, go to the person. That's yes. a very good point. Yeah. Um, very good point. And also I realized that um, I started gossiping when I was kind of stayed out of the, out of the circle. There were certain people talking about certain things, yeah. and I was just being left out. <laughs> I did not like that, so I right. wanted to be a part of that just so I can be cool, I can look cool. And yeah. stuff. That's when I started gossiping. Wow. <laughs> Wow, this is mind blowing. Yeah. Andre, you, I know you don't gossip. <laughs> if Andre gossip, I'm done. <laughs> you gossip? You're talking about, yes, I do, absolutely. This is my audio engineer. <laughs> you were saying that. Um, do, hold on one minute. Turn to Matthew, and then I'm going to have you read something, Patrick. Matthew uh, 5, 13 through 16. Uh, go ahead. You were saying that whether uh, one can be trusted or not, meaning if I can be trusted or not, and, I, and I'd say that I can't even trust my own actions, and I don't know what I'm going to do in the next second. So if I can't trust myself, knowing that I'm subject to uh, my own thoughts, if it triggers something in me then I, and I do something, then how can someone else trust me? Yeah. I can 100% trust him. You trust him? 100%. Even if your eyes are not on him? Yes. Oh, good. Oh, yes. That's his wife. She trusts him. You're probably the only woman in the world who trusts her husband. 
that my my instructor um, was telling me, you don't know, you're here right now, you don't know what your husband is doing out there. I'm like, come on. That's Satan. <laughs> you should say, get behind me, Satan. Because that's what the devil does. He, he's trying to put doubt in your mind. You trust your husband. Other, other men and women know about that. They don't like that because they can't be trusted. They don't trust anyone. They're going to plant a seed in your mind. And if you, ha if you believe it just for a little bit, you distrust your husband forever. I used to not trust him, and it was hell, worse than hell. So once I know that I don't have anything not to trust him, I totally trust him. There you go. Good. I bet you're happy to hear that, Andre. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I've been knowing you for years, 20 years or more. G give me a quick because I'm running out of time. Do you gossip? Yes, but mine is for entertainment. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's for entertainment only. And I, I feel like, much better now. Yeah, it's just entertainment. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like for someone to be sitting around in a room gossiping about you for entertainment purposes? No, I really wouldn't. Right. But mine is mainly at work. And, have something juicy to tell about somebody, and it's for entertainment. Oh. And, and it's confirmation, too, how, you know, if you do wrong, what will come back. And so oh. what you put out comes back. So mine is, you know, oh, okay, yeah, that's how God made it, you know. Satan really tricked you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mine is just for entertainment. <laughs> Go ahead and gossip, girl. It's for entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, it's good And if you walk into your office and you're the subject that they've been talking about for entertainment, I'm pretty you'd sure. be mad. Yeah. Yeah, you'll yeah. be mad. Yeah. Tay, you don't gossip, right? Oh, yeah. You gossip? This is Clint's wife. <laughs> with all those kids, how do you have time to gossip? I, I find some time. Who do you gossip not. with? Well, you know, I think someone said it, Pat. I'm not sure. But I, I, I found that it's usually with someone that I don't, that I'm not friends with anyways. It's just, <laughs> you know, we don't have anything to talk about. And then... The person that does the gossip, I'm a listener. A pretty gossip much. listener. Yes. And gossip I will listen, listening. but at the same time, I'm like, she probably lying. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really <laughs> believing what's going on, but I do listen. But I'm like, I can't trust that person, and she probably can't trust me because we're not friends anyway. So. Have you ever rebuked her or repudiated her for doing that? No, I, I, I usually avoid this person. No, why not love them enough to tell the truth and then avoid them? I don't know. Love, are you a Christian? I want to be. <laughs> well, this is, these are the principles of Christians. This is written in our hearts. I don't know. I guess you're supposed to love the, thy neighbor. Love your enemy. And love your... I, I'm not there yet. I don't well, think I love enough to be like... Poor God. I rebuke you, you know. You, <laughs> I, don't I'm you not, like feel sorry for Jesus? I'd just rather avoid him. And not hear it that way. It what just have easier happened, to me. What would have happened had Jesus said, you know what, Father? I'm rather avoid this one. I don't care about those people's soul. I'm going to avoid this issue. I don't want to do this. Where would we be today? I understand. And he was our perfect example. You got to stop this crap. This is evil. This is absolutely evil. Patrick, read Matthew uh, 5, 13 to 16 for me. All right. Uh, it's called salt for the earth and light for the world. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, what can make it salty again? Is it good for nothing? It is good for nothing and can only be thrown out to be trampled under people's feet. You are light for the world. A city built on a hill top cannot be hidden. No one puts a la lamp to put under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in people's sight so that seeing your good works, they may give praise to your Father in heaven. If you are gossiping, you, you're bringing in evil into your families, into your friendships, into your own personal life. How can you be the light of the world if you're acting just like the darkness of the world? There's no light, then there's no hope. There's no help. And Christ came as our light. He came so that we can see the right way to go. And he came and conquered all of these things so that we don't have to go through it. And so if you're born again of God, you have his nature, his identity. It means that you're letting your ego nature go, which is of Satan, and you're becoming the light of the world. And in your personal life and in your family life, things are getting better for you. 
And I mean that if you get married and start your own family and things like that, you start a new generation. There is no happiness in gossiping for either party. There's no good in it. It's only destroying. It destroys your soul and what you are and what your kids will become as well. This is not the way Christians should be acting. And I see it and hear it all the time, and this brings on more suffering, and I'm totally out of time. Isn't that amazing? Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for coming. For more information, to purchase a copy of this program, or to make a donation, visit us on the web at bondinfo.org or call 1-800-411-2663. That's 1-800-411-BOND. You're already home.